we've reached the spot where we're gonna cross. And we have to wade this one. So supposedly it's shallow enough that a vehicle can make it across, but it's a little, <laughs> little bit deeper than what I'd want to take the car. So I just got my tennis shoes on. I didn't bring any Crocs. So uh, yeah, this water's really cold. And there's about 50 yards of it or more. Oh, I just don't want to slip and fall. That would not be good. Look at them pasties. Oh, yeah. You're going to get some sun on those this week. Right, you ready to go bear hunting? Yep. So it's so much different than what we just left. We're about 12 miles from the last camp. Looks like this is going to be camp for the next few days. I'm hoping to find something open to here. We talked to a local fishing game guy and it said he's got a buddy that's been watching a pack of wolves six, eight miles back up the mountain from where we're at right now. So we both have wolf tags. We're hoping we get a crack at one of those as well. Just had our first animal sighting. A couple of bighorn sheep up there at the top. Right up here. Oh, the skyline for a minute. We took off. So this morning's already starting out to be a little bit better. At least we have animals moving. A uh, rainstorm moved in about four o'clock. Thunder and lightning, a lot of rain. So I'm thinking that the bears are holed up for the time being, assuming that they're here. So I'm hoping that they come out soon. But man, this is a steep country. This is just. As far as steepness, it's just as bad as where we left yesterday, um, but a lot more open. And uh, at least the trail in the bottom is really accessible. Um, we're not fighting that brush like what we were. There's a few spots where it got a little bit thick, but nothing, nothing even compared to the ride out yesterday. That was pretty brutal. So hopefully we'll have something turned up here this morning or this evening. And I'm sitting on this bus. We're pulling completely out of this country. We're going to try and find another way in. Either along the Drew Corridor or somewhere down by the town of Salmon. We've got a few contacts that I'm going to call and see if I have a little bears move. We are at campsite number three right now. Uh, after all the hiking that we've done the last few days, we decided to just pull up stakes completely, take a little road trip, uh, and just do some day hikes. We're not packing in. Um, we've got the car right here in camp, so we don't have to go very far, but these hillsides are looking pretty promising. So we're gonna get up there, um, maybe not necessarily on that ridge, but there's some other roads around here that we can walk little uh, old forest roads that are closed down we can we're gonna split up go opposite directions and see what we can see uh, we did run into a guy I'm assuming it's a guy wouldn't actually see him but um, somebody throwing out bait just down the road from us so that's another good sign um, somebody's got bait in here there's probably bears here and at the very least there's some kind of an attractant so the bears will be coming in uh, from different angles looking for that so if we can catch them and hopefully get at least one or two tagged out we've only got three days left uh, not even full three days uh, 
today's Tuesday. We've got to pull up and head out Thursday evening, so I really call it two days. Well, two full days anyways. And so we'll see how this goes, but it's just some really nice country. I'm looking forward to getting into it. Gary and I decided to go out right after we set up camp. Just kind of explore a little bit, set up, and see what we can find. I came across this little body crowd. I really like these things in the mountain country. They're easy walking. They're usually not too overgrown. I don't know how they are. And a lot of times the bears use them. You can walk right up on a bear. It's a little farther up. Opens. Let's me see another opening across the canyon. Got about a hundred, hundred and fifty yard open area. This spot right up here is about 407 yards. The lower part's 380, so I've got a little bit of a distance. The rest of it should be pretty easy shooting. And hopefully they come out and open up from the bottom. So we'll see how this evening goes. Gary said he's got a pretty good spot where he can see that hillside from camp, which is maybe this one right over here, the whole ridge. So he can see that and some more where he's perched at up on top of the mountain here. Back behind me. <clears throat> it took him an hour and a half going through snow to get up there, but hopefully it pans out. fresh set of bear tracks that are oddly enough heading back toward camp. So I've come up this ridge a ways. I got pretty good visibility and I'm hoping that that thing will drop over into one of these areas that I'm at. If not, maybe Gary will catch it out in the open and get a shot. exciting. It is a good bow. It'll probably be a really good 5x5 five five or 6x6. Six six. Let's see four mule deer. I'm hearing all kinds of sounds. Wind finally calmed down.
climbing the ridge back up the higher trail I was on last night where I saw the elk. I wasn't going to, but I saw a game trail heading to the mountain, so you know I gotta take it. But Gary told me last night this is our last morning hunting. Apparently, he picked up a weather station on the radio, and we've got 30 to 50 mile an hour wind gusts coming in this afternoon or evening. Um, and rain and snow, possibly several inches. So I gotta make the best of it. So last go. This is tip number 21. There's so many of these things out here. I've been hiking for about two hours this morning. I found this nice hillside back behind me, but even if I see a bear over there, I don't know if I can get to it if I kill it. Not to mention some pretty long shots beyond 400 yards, and those are the really close ones. And they're deep down in the bottom. Now there's some water down there. I can see one little stream off the mountain, and I can hear another one rushing. I think I'm gonna pack up and move. Yeah. This would be a really great spot if I had time to figure out how to get over there. I you know, spend a couple of days exploring some of these trails. But with us leaving in possibly the next six hours, or if I got one, I don't know if I'd be able to get it back. I mean, it's just a, a rough call. And I still gotta find my own way back to camp. I, I could take the way that I came in that's really long and I don't like the idea of having to go back down the hill there's a lot of these old mountain roads that I want to take um, so there's one right around the corner for me I'm gonna take that down I, that will probably actually drop me down below the camp elevation wise and so I have to hike back up a little bit but at least I'd be on a open road um, hopefully I'll catch something on the way out Mm -hmm. yeah. Just down from where that wolf track was, we got a bear track. It's another old one. Bear's going one way, and the wolf is going the other. Well, I've determined that if you're going to hunt up here, we're in unit 12 of highway 12 and you either need a really good magnum and can shoot long range 400 yards plus or bring your 30 30 or shotgun instead of a bait that's pretty much the only options you're gonna have spot and stock pretty tough you probably want to move a little farther south for some of that this stuff's it's good country it's great country it's just thick and nasty. It's almost like a cedar swamp with hills. Um, and you know, you're not slogging through water, but you are walking up and down thousands of feet of elevation to get to where you want to go. So keep that in mind if you're gonna come out here hunting. And don't forget about the ticks. I'm up to 32 so far, so make sure to check yourself often and thoroughly going through any any kind of grass or brush they're just they're all over so even the spray hasn't worked uh, I did use some permethrin I think it's called uh, that's a yellow bottle you can get it at Walmart for 11 bucks and I sprayed some you're down with that 
Still got ticks on me. No, if I, maybe that will... Something resembling civilization. At least it's the road. Finally made it back to camp. Woo! Last climb. Well, I think, anyways, we'll see how it turns out.